You better like and subscribe, or this spider will crawl into your mouth while you're sleeping. Welcome to Game Chief. We'll be looking at seven YouTubers that barely escaped alive. Filming and recording videos isn't always the easiest job, as YouTubers Preston, Jelly, Ninja Kids, and more barely make it out alive. Number 7. Ben Brown So, Ben's just chilling in the car and vlogging until he crosses an intersection. And then, another guy ran a stop sign and crashed right into Ben's car. This would be insanely scary, so make sure you watch the video and roll the clip. Look at Man. that hog. Yo, that's a yog, isn't it? I I think. Whoa, bro. Oh my god. I can't Holy shit. Are you guys alright? Is everyone okay? Whoa, bro. Oh my god. I think. Whoa, bro. Oh my god. I can't believe Holy shit. The next part shows the aftermath of the car crash. And keep watching. Right. Is everyone okay? Yeah, right. Is everyone alright? Yeah, fine. Okay. Oh, that took me down. You right, bro? It's <sighs> burning me, bro. You alright? It's smoking. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. You right? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I'm Number fine. six. We have YouTuber W2S, also known as Rota Shaw. In this clip, he slips off the roof while recording a soccer challenge video with his dad and falls off of the top onto a car. This didn't end well, so make sure you watch till the end, and never try this at home. Next up, at number 5 on the list, we have Vicstar. He's a huge YouTuber who was enjoying himself on a skiing trip, until he did a massive jump while skiing that wouldn't turn out too nice for him. Thank god he was wearing a helmet guys, and everything was fine, but make sure you watch all the way to the end, so you don't miss out. It was at this moment that he knew. Good. Ow. My shoulder's really hurting after that one. Oh. How'd the jump go, Vic? How you feeling, Vic? Not awful. I think the pain feels from earlier this time to here. Not looking forward to this, but. Will you lose? I will lose. <laughs> <laughs> the pain killers are definitely <laughs> starting to hit. <laughs> Okay, so chilling at my uh, hospital bed for the night. With Coming up next at number four, we have Mr. Beast, a very famous YouTuber that everyone knows about who does all types of crazy things. But in this clip, he could have done something that ended his life. So, in this video, he broke a glass Coca Cola bottle with a fidget spinner. Until that didn't work, so he decided to smack two glass bottles into each other. And glass splattered all over the place when he did this. You better not try this at home, but roll the clip. Okay, that didn't really work. Okay, that didn't really work. So now we're just gonna do Coke versus Coke and pray I don't die. Whoa! Oh shoot! I'm bleeding. All right, note to self, boys. Don't smash the Coke bottle against the Coke bottle. Oh, I should probably clean my face up. All right, I'm bleeding now. Oh, wow, I'm bleeding. That doesn't look good. Okay, I'm bleeding now. I think I should end the video there. Uh, yeah, oh. All right, I'm an idiot sometimes. I admit it. Probably so, here's when Mr. B shows the aftermath of what happened. And although he has a lot of banger ideas, this wasn't the smartest thing for him to do. But stick around to see what happens next. Okay, so I just ran back inside. Sorry if the mic sounds horrible. Uh, look next at that. up on the list, at number three, Ninja Kids TV. So, 
In this clip, Aston Myler ran about 100 miles per hour on a boat when it was very dark outside. He was going way too fast to the point where he ended up tripping and having to go to the emergency room. Make sure you keep watching because the following clip is crazier. Exactly. I slipped on a rock right by the corner and then it just slammed in. And the person that was with us, she was in the elevator. She's like, yeah, you just need a band-aid and something to rock around pressure with it. Please do not move. You can shout if you want, but don't move because if you move, I can hurt you more than you are, okay? No, you did a great job. A lot of people scream a lot for this and you didn't even say ouch. So way worse for this, for this. Wait, it was yeah, way, it was way, way you know, less than that. No, no, you, you did a great job, okay? I appreciate you being good, thank you. Now the boat that Aston was on started to sink and this caused everyone to fly forward. And if you don't know, Brian also had to get surgery because he broke his entire leg. Don't miss out. Isn't great. There's a line straight through my foot that is broken. The bone is broken, so it's not very good. The doctor just came in and told us that we have to have a boot for a little while, and it's not going to be great. But she said I will make a full recovery sometime. It's just I got to not do the things I love to do. Like Moving on to number two on the list, Shelly. Jelly was riding a scary roller coaster that should have been banned, but while he was riding, one of the metal poles broke off and smacked Jelly right in the head. It hits him so hard it makes him dizzy, but I'm glad this wasn't too bad because he kind of got lucky in the end. Watch closely so you don't miss out on this. All right, guys. <laughs> oh. <laughs> is your boy, Preston Plays. He was literally getting sick every three days and was having a tough time breathing. This guy is known for his insane vlogs and gaming videos, but we could have been robbed of those videos thanks to what happened to Preston. So he rushed to the doctor to get it checked out and found that his tonsils were the size of golf balls, which was scary considering the size that they're meant to be. Here's a clip of him explaining it all. I had surgery, and I've never had surgery before, at least not to this extent, but I had my tonsils removed. Oh, and before every comment's about hairy legs. Okay, let's just go ahead and click off of that. They had to take them out, and my tonsils were like golf ball sized, huge. Two of them in the back of my throat, almost touching. Who knows, if, if this could have gone on, my immune system could have gotten so weak that if I would have gotten something like the flu, I could have legitimately died. And so, yeah, the recovery time was supposed to be an estimated time of about two weeks or so. But when you're an adult, it takes longer most of the times. And of course, I'm almost 24 years old, so I do categorize or <laughs> categorize. I classify technically as an adult. Grab one of the videos on the screen. Peace.